What's up guys, so I wanna talk about anxiety and heart rates. My heart rate was always fast, so if you're dealing with this and you have an anxiety disorder, you are not alone, and it's actually pretty common. So go ahead and smash that like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt, and leave me a comment throughout this video down below in that comment section. I wanna know your experience with fast heart rates, palpitations, tachycardia. Let's get a discussion going down there. So guys, like I said, this is something that I dealt with all the time. I get questions all the time, comments on all my platforms asking me, is this a normal heart rate? Um, my heart is always beating fast and never gets a break. I definitely hear where you are coming from. But guys, you have to realize that with anxiety disorders, this is pretty common. Now, what is a normal heart rate? That's debatable, but from most research, I have looked up anywhere from 60 beats to 100 beats is normal. And we're talking about a resting heart rate. Um, I would trim off the fat a little bit on the upper end and probably say 60 to 90 is more normal. But most studies are still putting 100 in there. But guys, I just want you to know that for me, my normal resting heart rate was anywhere from like 90 to 95 to 110, 115. That's what my resting heart rate was pretty much throughout my, all of my anxiety. The only time it would dip below that is probably four or five o'clock in the morning before I would open my eyes because the minute I would open my eyes in the morning panic would set in so like I said a palpitation is what started my anxiety so this led to health anxiety and I was always terrified of heart issues heart conditions guys if you're dealing with this some other issues that you're gonna deal with whenever you have a fast heart rate it's gonna cause more sweating it's gonna cause more uh, uh, cold sweats and chills um, it's going to make you more hyper, more likely to hyperventilate, so shortness of breath. This can cause more muscle tension, and this is all kicked off by higher levels of adrenaline going through your body. So whenever this happens, especially with panic attacks, your heart rate can go like that. And that was what was so frustrating with me. I was terrified because my heart would literally be chilling, well, still faster than normal, but then it would jump out to 160 so fast so fast it's crazy I wouldn't even feel anxious at times and out of nowhere my heart rate would shoot up and that scared the heck out of me because that would really make me think that there was something wrong with my heart I was having this unexplained tachycardia but the deal was I had an anxiety disorder and this is common with that most people with tachycardia are dealing with it because of anxiety so just realize that I'm gonna also say this if you're checking your heart rate 20 times a day stop it this is not going to help you. I promise you. Now, everybody's fancy these days. Back in the day, I was just using this all the time, my pulse or on my wrist. Also, was very, very good at timing it. Now people have apps, you know, and machines that they buy. It's been taken to a whole other level as technology has advanced. Do not purchase these. You're wasting your money and you're holding yourself back from recovering from anxiety. So please, do not do this. You're not going to get anywhere with this. Your anxiety is going to get worse. You are going to become more anxious when you see that your heart rate is going up. Just do not do it. <coughs> Excuse me. So guys, that's my story with it. My heart rate was always fast. I know a lot of you are curious about that. You asked me about this. Your heart rate, even resting, is going to be a lot higher than normal than a normal functioning person whenever you have an anxiety disorder, especially panic disorder. Your adrenaline is going to be always flowing at a higher rate. So make sure that you realize that. It's not super dangerous, nothing like that, as long as it's associated with anxiety. So guys, you need to be working on your anxiety every single day. All the tips that I give are down below in that description. Follow them religiously every single day. It all starts with figuring out what is causing your anxiety. Why are you having anxiety? You have to figure out what the root cause is. I can't tell you what that is. You have to figure that out for yourself. So guys, make sure that you're doing this every single day. I love you guys. Please stop checking your heart rates. Now the description below has tons of resources in it. There are journals down there, including a meditation journal. It's gonna show you how to meditate and journal at the same time. Amazing. There's better health therapy down below. Try online therapy. It can help you out tremendously. It's really convenient. You don't actually have to go to a therapist. You can do all this on your couch and it's cheaper. So try that out. There's a Facebook group down there for people that deal with anxiety. Join that. There's my Snapchat, my Twitter, my Instagram. Join all of that stuff down there below, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.